One of the most striking things about authoritarian governments operating under dictatorial emergency powers uh, is the shameful calibre of the politicians who slither their way to the top. Uh, Health Secretary Sajid Javid seems to have slithered on steroids. Uh, just take a look at this recent exchange on something called Twitter the other day, uh, when a journalist called David Atherton not unreasonably asked him why, having had two Pfizer rejections, uh, his third one was going to be from Modena, a different manufacturer entirely. And Commissar Javid's response was astonishing. So what, he said, followed by, why don't you show some respect for the NHS? Uh, which sort of suggests to me that Javid views his ministerial position as that of master of the people rather than servant of the people. And there are two things to note about this. The first is that Javid would have been described by my, mo uh, by my mother as a, a ghastly little man, a description I certainly wouldn't argue against. And he typifies those who should never be allowed any sort of power at all, ever, uh, you know, given the manner in which inadequate men have always abused it. Uh, and the second and much more important issue underlying this tawdry little exchange is that the Pfizer and Moderna drugs are still in the trial phase, which means that any mixing and matching of them uh, negates entirely any future court cases regarding adverse side effects. You know, when they're mixed about, you know, how can a court ever decide which one was responsible for those suffering from something like, off the top of my head, myocarditis, for example? Well, they couldn't, is the answer to that. Uh, so what Commissar Javid is essentially doing is interfering in the vaccine trials uh, in a manner which does not benefit the vaccinated at all, but certainly benefits the drug manufacturers involved. Now, interfering in a drug trial is more than just unscientific, I would have thought. It's certainly unethical, and it may even be a criminal act, uh, but perhaps that is something for the Ministry of Truth's wonderfully impartial, completely self-funded fact-checkers to establish. So rather than just sneeringly saying, so what, Commissar Javid, I suggest you contact Mr Atherton and politely explain to him exactly why it is scientifically and judicially permissible in your mind to mix and match two different drug manufacturers' vaccines issued under emergency use authorization rather than full approval, and which, most importantly, are still in their trial phase. So, you petulant little popinjay, over to you.